welcome. I am going to make a cooking video. Uh, in one of my recent vlogs, I said that I had got, uh, I had gotten braver with my shopping, my grocery shopping. So I decided I would cook some of the food that I bought. So I'm going to make this. It's like bacon stuff, but it's see kind of like that. So I'm going to use that and this and make some yummy dinner. Uh, I actually opened the bottle and took some on my finger and tasted it. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes really good actually. And I'm going to boil some potatoes. I got these potatoes at a uh, little fruit stand that is right next to my, or right next to my station. And I got all of these for 105 yen. So I'm really excited about that. I really like that uh, fruit stand. And I go there often to buy bananas, but I saw these potatoes there and I figured I'm going to have a balanced meal. So I've got potatoes and I've got that. And of course, soba. So buckwheat noodles. And that, what else? Oh yeah. And the other day, I bought peaches. So I'll have fruit too. And I bought the peaches. Funny story with the peaches is I bought them in a big can because I was like, oh, fruit sounds really good. Maybe I'll buy some fruit. And I bought some and I got it home and was really excited about eating it. And I realized I don't have a can opener. So yeah, it was kind of rough. And then I went to the store a hundred times and always forgot a can opener, but finally I went and got a can opener. Now in Japan, apparently they don't make, you know, the kind of turn can openers that we have in America. So this is like the only style can opener I've seen at like seven different stores. So it's a manual can opener. It took me, no lie an hour to figure out how to open that can and that's what came of it yeah it's all sorts of cut up and dented up and yeah it was frustrating but i finally got it open but anyway um right now i'm boiling the water for the potatoes and i'm going to rinse the potatoes off but there's number one all right more to come okay so the potatoes are boiling now the next thing i need to do is get these noodles going um, these are really good, the noodles in Japan that they sell are really good because they're sold like this and they're sold each individual so they show like kind of like a serving size but I usually only eat about half of one if I'm not too hungry but all of the noodles I sell always come like this except for spaghetti noodles but um, but you know all of the soba, udon, you know all that sort of thing is sold like this. So the problem I run into is I don't have much stuff. Like I have very little in the way of kitchen supplies. Right now my main concern is getting furniture, which I am going on Thursday to get the rest of my furniture. But, so I've not been concerned about buying kitchen stuff. So the only stock pot I have is this fellow. And I have to boil potatoes in it. And if I wait until the potatoes are done and then do that, then the potatoes are going to be cold by the time that's done. So, I'm improvising. I'm using my skillet. I got it for 400 yen. It was like on clearance or something. But I'm using my skillet and I'm boiling water in it. And I'm going to cook my noodles in the skillet. Whatever works, you know? Okay. So now this is the pork. Um, it's kind of like bacon, but it's cut just a little bit differently. So, as you see, they're cut kind of in slits, and then, like, if they were cut one more time, then they'd be bacon. But they're not quite bacon. So, I'm going to cook all of this and then refrigerate some of it because I like to take my lunch to work to save money because I'm all about saving money. They sell a lot of these sort of things in Japan. They're, I mean, in America they sell them too, you know, kind of the quick, easy meals. So it's very easy for you to, you know, be able to follow the directions without being able to read what it says. So, all right, so step one is done. 
Step two is on its way. And step three will be right behind it. So that's it for right now. Nothing in there yet. Ooh. Yay. All right, more soon. I wasn't exactly sure, oops, sorry. I wasn't exactly sure how much of the mix to use versus how much of the meat to use. So I just kind of estimated and I used most of the bottle. I mean, you can't really see any in there. There's only some in the bottom. And I used most of the meat. Let me see. I actually think I'm gonna throw these three more pieces in there. And I think I'm gonna save the four more for breakfast. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, since it kind of is bacon. I'm going to make bacon. I want bacon. So I'm going to make bacon. I'll have bacon and eggs and something else. And I think that's the only thing missing from this meal is eggs. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it seems that everything in Japan is cooked with eggs. There's always eggs involved. Like always. I'm sorry. I keep like not paying attention. Uh, but anyway, there's always eggs involved in everything weird but I don't really like eggs but I bought eggs so I'm going to eat them so this is my use all kitchen tool it's the only real kitchen tool I have other than a spoon and a fork and a butter knife and chopsticks so this is my use all I use it for everything as you see I'm stirring my pork and my soba and my potatoes but anyway so this is what's going on now I'm cooking the pork. Um, it's looking really good. Mm, I hate the light in here. You can't really tell. Ooh, I know. Hold on. Maybe. Oh. No, still can't really tell how good it looks. Looks good to me. Alright, so cooking now. That's cooking. That's cooking. I will be back with a finished product of some variation of Japanese food. Again, I have no idea what it is, but it's going to be tasty. See you in a bit. All right, I'm done. It is now, let me see the time. It is now eight o'clock p.m. here. Um, I think I might've started cooking at 7.25 or so. So it definitely didn't take very long. Um, it definitely not bad. Uh, so, especially with the boiling of the potatoes. So there's my soba noodles, there's my potatoes, and there's my yummy pork stuff. And this is my plate. Isn't it pretty? And of course, I have to have toast. I like bread a lot, so I eat toast a lot. So there we go. Potatoes, beach, toast, soba, and porky stuff. And this right here is the dust from the piece of toast that I burnt. Yes, I burnt my toast. I happened to forget that it was in my little doohickey thingy. And then I started smelling it. And then I was like, oh, yeah. So it didn't burn terribly, but it looks like coffee filter stuff, coffee grounds. But yeah, so. Other than my burnt piece of toast, my meal looks pretty good. Give me a second and I will eat it for you and tell you if it's really good. Okay, so here we go. I approve. You should buy that stuff and make it for yourself. It's easy to cook in Japan. I mean, it might seem a little hard sometimes because you can't read anything, but they have the little pre-made stuff and it's really easy to tell by the pictures how to make it. You can do it. Just be brave. And now, one last thing. Zeus. Yes, Zeus. It's zoo juice. Zeus. Yeah, you can't read that. That's too bad because it's kind of funny. But yeah, so it was only 100 yen and drinks aren't usually 100 yen, especially for something this big. So I got it to try it and it tastes really good. Kind of like a cream soda almost, but not really. A fruity cream soda, because it's definitely fruity, but it's got a cool bottle too. Yay, Zeus. Okay, today was brought to you by Zeus. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed me cooking. Now I'm going to enjoy me eating.
Peace. Oh.